Allah, this God, is the God of punishment. He's waiting to strike. As soon as you make a mistake, he strikes. So when people become ill, why are you ill? Ah, you forgot about that sin. This is it. It's coming to you now. That's why you have cancer. Or they go tell them, you know why this guy has cancer? Because 10 years ago he committed the sin or he did this or he, now he has cancer. He's impoverished. Why? Because Allah made him impoverished. Allah is punishing him. His family has family problems. Allah is punishing him. His child is not a good child. Allah is punishing him. What is this Allah? He has nothing else to do but punish people. I don't want this Allah. Why do I have to obey and worship a God that's waiting to punish people left, right, and center? You, whatever you do, you get punished. Others, this is not Allah. Allah has arham al rahimin. Allah has ghaffar al dhunub, sattar al ayub, rahmatuhu wasi'at. Kulla shay. And Allah beautifully within the Quran shows us a prophet of God that was thrown in the well. A prophet of God who had a bad child. A prophet of God who had a bad wife. A prophet of God like Ya'qub who all the calamities fell onto him. So if it is the fact that we look at problems and we say this is the punishment of Allah, Allah gave us examples and He said, don't judge. Don't say Allah is punishing them. If anything, this is the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.